Welcome to Fighting Stats, the ultimate channel for MMA fans who love statistics and betting breakdowns. I'm your host, Art C, and I'm here to get you ready for the upcoming UFC fights. In this series, I'll be watching tape and providing my real-time analysis on how I think the fights are going to go. I'll be watching for fighters' strengths, weaknesses, tendencies, and overall strategies, pairing that with Fighting Stats' exclusive UFC stats not available anywhere else to give you a prediction on how I think the fights are going to go and, ultimately, who's going to win. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome to Fighting Stats. Back to Fighting Stats. I'm your host, Art C, and today we have a treat for you. We are going to tape Paddy the Body Pimblet. Uh, now, we're going to start the tape watching at uh, his fight against Soren Bank. Uh, this fight was in 2018, Cage Warriors 96. I believe this is for the lightweight title. Uh, Soren Bank coming in as the slight favorite there, uh, minus 130, 1.72, uh, plus 103 for Paddy Pimblet there. Um, so, Worth noting, if you don't know Soren Bank, he is uh, undefeated currently in Bellator, uh, undefeated in Cage Warriors, so um, only one loss on his record so far. Um, decent competition here, so let's see how, how this fight played out. Alright. Oh, too early. Alright. All right, Paddy the Babbly here, the Golden Locks uh, kid, uh, and uh, Soren back here with the beard and the black shorts. Both fighters open up orthodox. Paddy here circling to the outside a little bit and keeping his head up high on that exchange there. See, looking for the kick, still putting his head up there. Looks, uh, yeah, definitely hittable. In on a takedown, let me see how he got that takedown. Dropped under, double leg, went to a single leg, got the trip, and now he's in uh, top control, uh, side control here. Right away into mount, a little bit sloppy in that mount control, gives it up. Uh, back able to get the position back. Patty goes around to the back. A little bit high on the back. Paddy with one hook in on the right leg. Pushed him against the cage to get the fight down to the ground. Very creative there. Looking to get the left hook in. Already in on a rear naked choke here. One minute into the fight. Back scrambling. Looks like it's under the chin too. Bad camera. That is deep. That is a deep choke. Soren back. He looks like he's going to go out. That is the deepest rear naked choke you've ever seen. And he is able to fight out of that. He, now he doesn't really have the angle a little bit. He's a little bit to the side. Back able to breathe a little bit better. Gives a thumbs up. And Patty with the body lock here. I know he wants to get a little bit more square. A bit, you know, belly to back sort of thing. Uh, but. Wow. He gives it up. And, and he has a arm tucked behind the head and the head tucked behind the hand it is deep man now he's uh, still on his back here patty squeezing this choke deep and why wouldn't you it's 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 under the chin it's it's in I I'm not convinced that uh, he's not out here but uh, Still mates here. Um, Patty still working the rear naked choke. Wonder how long he sinks this in for. Maybe palm to palm, but uh, he's trying to get that arm there. It looks like I guess he's holding onto Patty's left arm. Um, out of it now. So it's a little bit of a stalemate here. Let's fast forward this a little bit here. Some like ground and pound. Oh, nice shot there. Patty controlling the left wrist with some shots from the top. I mean, what option do you have here? You got the, you had the choke in, and uh, so that was deep. So now you just have to go to ground and pound while you're on his back. Not going to give up the ground position, right? So 
Um, some big shots here from Padley on the black back and on the leg here almost like a, a banana split gonna be a little bit too high no back able to keep him there he's gonna try to shake him off a couple of bounces here Paddy's a little a lot of strain there on the left or on the right foot of uh, his there but uh, still able to keep that body triangle keep position so decent back control from Paddy Some big shots there. Some pressure on the uh, the left right right ankle of Patty doing the body triangle, but not as bad for Patty as it is for back here. Four minutes with Patty Pimblet on your back. Uh, a lot of squeeze yeah on the legs required to keep this back mount here but uh, back doing a, a good job of defending here um, not in any danger here he has the uh, two on one protecting the neck Patty's not able to do a lot of damage here so I think at these points when you get to these points you're like why waste the cardio again trying to get out of the round you've already lost the round uh, you're better off just preventing damage trying to breathe through it and uh, just wait till the next round starts one of the benefits of a 10-8 round there or sorry a 10 the 10 must scoring system I guess Paddy Pimlin upside down still throwing some strikes he's on the back here won't let that go so a good four minutes four minutes and a bit uh, he got that takedown less than a minute into the round got to the back there um, striking wise didn't look the greatest right he head up in the air got caught there ducked under grabbed the takedown and it was able to use the takedown into side control a little bit uh, fast jumping into mount but able to get the back nonetheless pushed off the cage uh, getting some space that is a deep choke that is under the chin Patty Pimlet able to uh, survive or back, back able to survive here round number two Patty Pimlet So back's now the one pressuring forward here in orthodox Paddy in, in southpaw Paddy kick to the body from southpaw backs himself up into the cage and relies on the head movement to try to get off there not a great look striking wise dips under throws a right hand from Paddy switches to southpaw throws a two from Paddy kick to the body as well <coughs> nice straight two from Paddy there Nice light lead kick to the body from Paddy. Left hook, right hand uh, as back tries to jump in there. Outside low kick. Oh, it looked like he got checked and hurt his foot there. So he throws his throws his kick. Yeah, back checks it. Definitely hurt his foot there. Now he's backing up on it. Another two shot from Paddy. Oh, nice inside low kick from back. Paddy again circled his way up into the to the side of the cage uh, allowed him to get backed up there lead hook there got countered with the left hook nice jab from Paddy goes high ducks under grabs a single leg switches to a double leg nice sprawl from back back in on a guillotine working some knees in the clinch there nice knees there oh another nice knee from back left kick to the body but I didn't like how he set that up and have he had his head up high again this fight in 20 uh, 2018 I think push kick to the knee another push kick to the knee from Patty Pimblet left kick to the body switches back to orthodox yeah his head's up here he's very hittable oh my goodness took some big shots there knees from back knees and the cage knees on the outside of the thigh halfway through round two uh, how much is this is Patty you know 
sort of gassing himself out or you know in on that choke for a while how is his legs after holding the body triangle for a while i think overall it's just his striking defense is not that great uh back able to hold him now they're breaking off uh into the center of the cage but he pinned the single jab to the body single two and then a three around his head's up wide up in the air chins there to be taken inside kick from back one two lands again man look watch this from here reach steps long step in from from back almost almost taking the splits there throws the one sets up the twos you see patty not even reacting really to it hand a little bit high and then lands a clean two patty's not doesn't have that arm stretched out able to land that clean two and uh, into a clinch there now patty's hurt it goes for a takedown in the clinch here doesn't get it Backs pressing Patty up against the fence. Uh, um, nice elbow in close. Nice turn from uh, Patty Pimblett. 50 50 here against the cage, looking for an outside trip. Really trying to survive. He took that big right hand, looking, trying to clear the cobwebs a little bit. Back able to pummel in, get 50 50 back. Take the, the position on the cage. Good head control, nice knee, nice right hand over the top. Still looking to uh, grapple here. One minute left in round number two. Nice knee from Paddy there. Nice elbow there. Nice outside low kick from back, flip kick, quick question mark kick from uh, Paddy Pimblett, outside low kick from Paddy, leaves his head up when there when he's thrown that kick, body kick there again leaving his head up, definitely can be counterable on the kicks, same thing there throws the lead kick there, backs up with his chin straight up in the air, back very close to landing that right hand there. Really not a lot of head movement from Patty Pimblett here. Outside a low kick from back. Back pressures him up. Throws a two, not there. Throws a jumping knee, able to get countered. Kick to the body here. Oh, big two. Oh, big three. Watch that exchange here. So they look like they're both training. Looks like uh, they're both throwing twos. Um... Just backs coming over the top, lands clean, very clean. Took the big shot there, Patty Pimblet eats it. A big left hook there from back as well. Another one, ref so close to stopping it, the end of the round. I uh, got to give that round to back as well. So uh, one round Patty from the back control, uh, second round to back for the uh, damage and strikes here. Lands clean here, watch this one too. Uppercut, uppercut, lands there. Paddy's definitely very hittable. Big elbow on the break here. Right elbow there. Oof. Paddy has a chin. Outside low kick from back. Lead high kick from uh, Paddy Pimlet there. All right. Round number three. Back versus Pimlet. I'm going to assume it's a five rounder. Switch kick there from uh, Pimblet. Chin wide up in the air. Outside kick from Bach. Outside kick from Pimblet again. Standing in orthodox here, trying to circle off. Another jab. Back to this seems to be the better striker, more technical, more power. For Patty to win, he's going to have to get this fight down to the ground. We saw him try to shoot in round two and not really get there. If the fight stays on the feet, I assume this is a back fight. Got caught there with the left hook by Patty Pimlet. Switches briefly to southpaw. Outside kick from back misses. Another two from Patty there. Trying for that overhand left from Southpaw. Another sloppy, sloppy two. Watch this, uh, how low this two goes. Off balance, throws a two, and it all, like it 
Goes all the way down. Body kick from Patty. Eats a right hand there. Another eats a right hand, throwing those kicks in. That shot selection there throws a, a weird kick there as well. Patty starting to mouth breathe here, two minutes into round three. Steps forward, short on that, throws a high kick, blocked by back. Throws a leg kick, checked by Black, and in on a takedown, trying to get it. Black easily defends and reverses. Now it's Patty on his back in half guard. Back in on the neck a little bit, working some uh, half guard here. Nice shots there. So now we see Patty Pimlet off of his back. What's he doing here? So, um,. Looking to keep that leg closed, I guess, kind of like a, a guard for the full mount uh, and holding on to that far side, the underhook there. I think Patty, uh, Patty has to scoot uh, to his left side, try to get his butt out and shrimp out to that side. Oh, back able to pass into full mount. No, Patty gets it back three quarter mount. Back able to control the wrist. Patty in on a leg. Now he's in on a knee. Should push him back. Defends. Able to get the back here. Patty's in on a leg. Back trying for like an Americana sort of defense. Oh, big elbow there. Nice shot there from back. Another big shot there from back. Trying to keep that uh, left leg under his body, not able not let Patty Pimlet grab it out. Nice shots from back on on top. Back again, looking for that Americana grip on the uh, right arm of Patty. Oh, it's almost uh, like a mounted crucifix here from from the back, but uh, Patty's left arm is behind the leg. Gonna make him pay. Gets the left arm back. minute 30 left in round three so yeah he's just looking for that wrist control uh and then he has a free left arm to tee off on patty here he has the the left arm between the legs so it's like an inverted uh crucifix i was gonna try to grab it i guess maybe go oh. Oh, it looks like it's three foot. Well, what, what, what? No, that's still going. So Patty just covering up, not really doing much. Feel like he should just let it go and try to stand up now, but he's really working uh, and trying to survive on this leg. But he's getting beat up here. Takes some big elbows for his troubles. Nice, bro. Oh, yeah. It's really just Patty Pimlet's left arm versus Back's right leg. It's going to be hard to overpower him and get that leg out there. He should just let it go and uh, give up here. But 15 seconds left. He's just going to need some more bigger shots. Trying to cover his ears with his arms. 10 seconds left. Make him pay for a little bit. Big round for back. So back should be up two rounds uh, to one. Big uppercut from back there. Nice hips. Gets the takedown. Reverses. Now he's into half guard. So Paddy Pimlet off of his back. or off, um, Not the best showing back. Able to control him. Uh, yeah. Not the best of looks. All right, round number four. Back in the blue, Patty Pimba in the red. Orthodox versus Orthodox. Outside low kick check by back. Looking for a jumping three. Outside low kick from back lands. Patty switches to southpaw. 
Oh, the look goes high with the high kick. Oh, heads wide up in the air. Oh, man. More strikes landed here. One, two, eats a big right hand there. Another two, three, eats another right hand there. Snaps his head way back. Yeah, and then Paddy Pimlet with the double unders taking some uh, some big shots. I think it's a combination of age being, you know, being durable, able to eat some big shots. Some of those shots would have put out lesser fighters, but uh, I think he says some kind of scholars never get knocked out or something like that. Uh, but he's damn close. Mark God are already giving him warnings up against the fence. I actually think Paddy wants this. Nice elbow from back. Paddy not able to circle him off. Now with double overhooks. Stay busy, Mark Garter. What are you doing, man? He's working. Controlling the wrist. Trying to get that wrist behind the back to hold on to him. Doesn't get it there. Back with body lock here. Ooh, big foot stomps. Mark Goddard with the separation. What are you doing? So now they're back to striking, which probably favors back anyway. Batty completely gassed. Not completely, but he's visibly gassed. Still working through it down 2 1. Kick from back. 1 2 blocked. Patty's chin way up in the air when he's throwing those kicks. Looks for three, two hooks, a three and a four. Nice jab there from Patty. Another push kick there, but his head's still there up in the center line. Throws a two. Outside low kick checked. Three, four from Patty. Nice jab there from Patty. Switch kick to the body. Jab nothing on that. Two over the top. There's nothing left on his punches. Another one. Two lands for Patty there. Three. Patty's grappling here. Now he's back. Giving up his back again. Now it's back with the hook in. Back to the same position in round two. Now he got both hook in. He's going to flatten out Patty here. Under the under on the right arm. Got the flatten him out. Um, trying to turn Patty into mount using the like the underhook. Patty doesn't want to go to mount. Stays in back mount. Back up a little bit high now. Max gonna want to get those hooks back in, which he does. Gonna try to flatten him out again. And try to reach your arms underneath the armpits. And uh, use those underhooks to flatten them out. There it is. Now he bring, flattens them out back into mount. Patty dexterous uh, off of his back. Able to get some legs back into play. Get out of full mount there. Looks like he was in on a leg. No, almost in a triangle. Nope, he passes to side control. Grabbing the leg there, grabbing the arm. He's going to try to roll for a Kimura. Back's aware of it. Back keeps his arm, arm through his legs. Should be able to step over maybe into mount. Great shot of Mark Gardner's back. Patty looking for a leg again. Uh, back's able to defend, sit into him. But he sort of give up a, oh, a calf slicer. Well, not a lot of time left, so I think that is another background. So back's probably up 3-1 here going into round five. Good strambles on the, on the feet. Patty's live for these uh, heel hooks, but if he doesn't get them, He's given up position, not the greatest uh, on his back. Calf slicer was close. Paddy looks gas back, looks fine. 
Sorin back. Round number five. Checking that low kick from Paddy. What does Paddy do if he's Paddy? He's trying to get the takedowns, not even close on them. Striking wise, lost out power in his hands. Um, backs a harder puncher, goes high. I don't know what Paddy can really do here. Gets the jab there, goes to the body, maybe kicks to the body. Eats a right hand there from back, throws a one two back. Another, oh, gets a, lands a two, a right hand there. In southpaw is Paddy Pimblett. Checks that kick there. Straight two misses. Back just needs to really cruise. I think he's up three rounds. So he could just cruise this round. Not really looking to push the pace, I don't think. Uh, just trying not to get locked up. But lands a two. <laughs> Paddy's head straight up in the air here. Lands the shovel uppercut with the left. And then comes over the top with the right hook. Boop. Wavy long hair really accentuates those punches, man. Nice right outside kick from back. I want to show you this too here. So look at Paddy Pimlet throwing this this uh, straight cross. That right foot, he picks it up off the cage. He puts it down, and he throws it again. Watch his foot, right hook, plants it on his lead leg, throws forward, and then he steps forward with it. It's like a, it's a weird step through. Um, not a ton of power on that right hand, but again, give credit. It's wrong. Round number five, so I get it. A little bit tired. Left kick there. Patty has nothing left. Big overhand misses for uh, back there. Very close. Head up in the air. Head way up in the air for Patty again. Well, got eats a punch there. No head movement. No high guard. Just. Throwing and keeping the head up. He's going to get caught. Back in on the takedown. Patty looking at the clock. Two minutes, 40 seconds left. Patty always a camera guy. Back gets the takedown. Double leg. Yeah, meh, back's okay here on the top. Paddy Pimlet, you know, a great submission grappler. Uh, probably wasn't in any, any trouble on the feet. Paddy in on a heel hook again. Trying to get that knee out. He's in on the leg a little bit. Back struggling to get it up. So yeah, there, it looks like he's out of there. He's trying to get his left leg out. It's about the knee position. Puts it to the left side here. Problem with the leg lock seal hooks is that you don't have the hands to defend the punches. Looks to get up, back able to grab a hold of him. Trying to get the hooks in. Got both hooks in. 50 seconds left. Back looks to be able to uh, flatten him out. Some wrist control with the right arm against Paddy's left wrist. Another switches hands. So Paddy's always one handed, making sure to keep him on the mat there. Some big shots because he knows Paddy's going to need one arm to elevate and then the other hand he can just hold on. So you're free to have one arm there, but he's going to rain down some shots here. So uh, nice control. He keeps switching from right arm to left arm. Now he lets go, lets Paddy roll into mount. 10 seconds left, some hammer fists. You're probably safer off your back. Some big shots there. Oh, it's close. Ooh, I mean, maybe another 10 seconds. Storm back takes that win uh, in round five there, but. Uh, all right, well, Paddy Pimlet fights for a title. I think uh, let's go to the scorecards here. 
Paddy Pimla came as and as at the underdog for this fight. So I'm back undefeated in Cage Warriors. 4 1, 49, 46. 48, 44. 48, 44. 48, 44. I guess there was a 10 8 round in there. Cage Warriors, champion of the world. Sarn, the true good win for Sarn. Again, undefeated in Bellator currently, undefeated in Cage Warriors. Uh, good test for Patty, but didn't show up here. Looks a little bit raw. Striking defense non existent there, head up in the air. Uh, looks to need the fight to get down to the ground. Uh, able to dominate round one there. Got that rear naked choke in. A lot of people would have tapped to that. Uh, and had he tapped to that, none of this would have been exposed. But uh, now this is out there. Paddy Pimlet into the later rounds. Not really great off of his back. Not the best. Able to attack some leg locks. Uh, but for the most part, back able to control most of the fight after the first round. Uh, I, th I guess there must have been a couple of 10-8s in there. So uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we will continue on watching uh, Paddy the Baddy Pimlet and his UFC rise and how he got into the UFC and how he did in the UFC. Uh, once again, my name is Art C and this is Fighting Stats. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure you smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. You'll get notified anytime we put out new content. Again, my name is Art C. You can follow me on Twitter at, at Mr. Electrocute. This is Fighting Stats, the ultimate source for exclusive and in-depth MMA statistics and best bets. We'll see you guys at the window.